YouTube, I am going to do the Intergalactic Book Tag today, which is a collaborative tag video that I did with Disney Hyperion and a whole handful of other booktubers. We kind of put this together to promote this book, Starflight by Melissa Landers. So this book came out on February 2nd, and I got a little early, so I've been making my way through it. I'm almost done. It has so much tension and these two characters that really hate each other but kind of grow to appreciate and then maybe even like each other. It's kind of hard to explain what it is exactly that I like about this book but I think the main thing that I really appreciate is I feel like every chapter this book throws something new at me. It's really sort of just a adventure in space. They're on the run, they're trying to get out to these outer planets and just all of these hilarious and horrible and scary problems and hitches in their plan keep popping up and keeping them from from getting to where they want to go and the stakes just keep getting higher and I just I've been on the edge of my seat the whole time I've been reading this and I really appreciate when a book can do that and without further ado let's get into the book tag first question is space name a book that is out of this world that takes place in a world different from our own so for that one I wanted to recommend Atlantia by Ali Condi so this book is written by the same author who wrote the matched trilogy it was really surprising it's about a girl who lives in this underwater world called Atlantia and then when you turn 16 you can decide to stay in the underwater world or you can decide to sort of sacrifice yourself and be a martyr and go to the above. And if you go to the above, you can't come back. And the above is not a nice place to live, but people have to live there to provide supplies and things for the people in the below to have a better life. This book was another book that I found to be surprising and I was not predicting things that were happening. I kept thinking that I had the book all figured out but then it would do something completely different and so I found it to be a lot of fun and the world is very different from our own. Next one is Black Hole. Name a book that completely sucked you in. Um, so for that I'm going to recommend The Storied Life of AJ Fickery by Gabrielle Zevin. This is a book that I just read. Um, I actually listened to the audiobook. I just talked about this in my last video. This book wasn't necessarily dripping with tension and like cliffhanger chapter endings, but it was just this really, really rich depiction of a life very different from mine, which I really like reading about. It's about this bookseller who finds this baby in his store and ends up raising her and then all the things that happen over the course of their lives. It was just a sweet book that was both incredibly sad and incredibly happy and I just, I don't, it's hard to explain why I loved it so much, but I did. Light Speed. Name a book that you are anticipating so much that you wish you could travel at light speed to get it. Um, so for that one, it is The Winner's Kiss by Marie Rutkowski. I really, really love The Winner's Trilogy. I love the first two books. There are other books that I feel just keep you on the edge of your seat and you never know what's going to happen next. And there are so many frustrating, infuriating things that happen, but in this really good way where you just like wish you could reach in and just fix the problem for the characters, but you can't because it's a book. That comes out in March and I can't wait. Next one, Nebula. Name a book with a beautiful cover. So I always use these broken stars uh, for this. The reason I read this book is because I loved the cover and I thought it was so pretty, but I actually want to show you the next two books in the series because they're just as amazing. This is The Shattered World and Their Fractured Light. I actually haven't read these yet, but the covers are just as gorgeous and I super, super can't wait to get to them because I love the first one. The next one is Multiverse. Uh, name a companion set or spinoff series that you love. I was looking through my book collection and I can't really find anything. I don't read a lot of spin-off series or companion sets and I don't have any on my bookshelves. So I don't know. Really what I want to actually do is ask you guys for recommendations for any good series that have a great spin-off or a great companion novel or something like that because I clearly don't read them very often. Gravity! Name your favorite romantic pairing that seems to have a gravitational pull toward each other. So my obvious answer for this is not real. <laughs> Like, my OTP forever is Draco and Ginny, and they don't actually have a gravitational pull toward each other, except in my mind and in fan fiction. I think I'll actually go with Starflight. I really, really like the relationship that begins to develop between the two main characters of this book. It definitely is subtle and underneath for most of the book, and I haven't finished it, so I don't know how it ends up, but I'm really, really enjoying watching these characters get to know each other, and I feel like we're getting to a place with them where, like, they can't live without each other, which I think is a really, really great place for your characters to get. The Big Bang! Name the book that got you into reading. So I always read 
um, like picture books and stuff when I was younger. My parents read to me a lot every night. We had like reading time. Um, but the very first book that I read on my own was, uh, I think it was, it was a Babysitter's Club Little Sister book. And I believe it was like number three or something. I'm gonna put a picture here because I have to go look at them and remember which one it was. But I got this at a garage sale. I was at a garage sale with my mom when I was really little. Um, I could like barely read when she bought me this book. I could barely read on my own, especially chapter books. So my mom bought this for me and I remember thinking that I was so cool and I would like stand in the kitchen like reading it and I was just like wanting people to be like, oh man, look at that girl reading a book. Like I have really vivid memories of this. And I think it took me like two weeks to read this book. And Baby Sisters Club Little Sister books went on to take me like 20 minutes to read, but I like really couldn't read well enough to read this book, but I persevered and I read the whole thing on my own and it was awesome and then I never stopped reading from that moment. Asteroid, name a short story or novella that you love. So I uh, recently read The Last Girlfriend on Earth and Other Love Stories by Simon Rich. I actually just picked this up at like half price books. There were so many good ones in here I can't even pick. I actually would reread the best ones to Joe after I read them. But there's one in here that I really, really like. It's from the point of view of a condom. And it's this, this little condom who like doesn't really know what he's for or whatever and he like lives in this boy's wallet and he gets to kind of watch this boy grow and evolve and watches the, the things that come in and out of his wallet change. Like cause the things in his wallet go from like comic book of the month club membership card to like grown up adult cards and it's just really funny and tragic and you don't really realize right away what's happening and then you realize that it's a condom and then you just laugh and it's great. Most of the stories in here are like really goofy and offbeat like that and I had a really good time reading it even though I don't actually normally read short story compilations so I highly recommend this one. Uh, Galaxy, name a book with multiple POVs. For that I'm actually going to talk about Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. I thought that this book was extremely interesting. It's huge and it is this big because it actually has two like different books in it because half the chapters are from the point of view of the main character who is a girl who wrote an NaNoWriMo novel and got it picked up and is now working on it for it to be published and then the other chapters are from the point of view of the main character of her novel. So I thought that that was super interesting because you get to like kind of learn more about the writer through her writing and kind of what's going on with her life and that mirroring the things happening in her book and it was um, I didn't, what's interesting is that I, I liked the chapters about the author a lot more than I liked her actual book, but it's because she wrote a book that would not necessarily be one that I would pick up, but I actually really loved reading about her, but it was still, it was still like a really cool reading experience and I, I enjoyed this book. And the last one is Spaceship. Name a book title that would be great for a spaceship. So I looked at my bookshelf for a while, but there was really only one obvious choice. And for me, that was the SS fangirl. So yeah, this has been the intergalactic book tag. I'm going to tag a few people to do this as well. I'm going to tag, uh, as always, my roommate Jen. Jen does stuff. She has not made a video in a long time, so I hope she does it. I'm going to tag Mallory, Mallory of Sunshine, because she is great also and tags me and things a lot. Thank you guys for watching. I will be back with another video soon. And you should definitely check out Starflight because it's great and I like it. All right, bye guys.